month-long dredging project at Perdido Pass in Orange Beach wrapping up today. The Army Corps of Engineers does this every two to three years in order to keep the pass navigatable for larger vessels. But as our house Sherrick found out, there's another huge benefit to this process. What do you get when a massive dredge pumps sand and water for three straight weeks? Well, you get a new beach. That's just what happened along the West Jetty at Perdido Pass. More than 250,000 cubic yards of sand has been moved from the Perdido Pass channel and deposited along the shoreline. Where we're standing, the beach was about here, which gives you, what, maybe 50 yards of beach. Now, there's 150 yards of beach, which is, it's wonderful. It really is. Visitors to the area like Jane Leatherland were in awe of the dredge work and the difference it's made. Not only is the dredging critical for boat traffic, like the massive Orange Beach charter fleet, but the removal of sand has proved invaluable to Orange Beach Coastal Resources projects. Coastal Resources Director Philip West says sand from the pass has been placed up and down the coastline. We get a benefit, the public, recreation gets a benefit, protects the built infrastructure north of the beach, and then even the wildlife see a benefit. Contractor Mike Hooks LLC began work in early October and dredging was only down a few days for equipment repairs. Since then, the equivalent of 12,000 dump trucks worth of sand has been removed from the pass. The project is paid for by the Corps and the city reaps huge benefits. The benefit for us is all this material is being placed on these beaches and you know we're not having to pay anything for it here locally and that's, that's worth at least two and a half million dollars to us. In case you were wondering, sand that comes from the bottom of Perdido Pass is premium beach sand. Now, while dredging did wrap up today, it may take a little bit of time to get all the equipment and pipes removed from the channel and from the beach. Reporting live in Orange Beach, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.